hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is hilda and you're welcome so today is thursday 25th may and it's around 1 p.m right now so i'm going to get my sim card registered today i was supposed to get my hair done today but then something came up and then i had to reschedule my hair appointment so today i'm going to just get my sim card done and then get uh, maybe juice or anything from melcom or um any shop closer to the mtn office yeah but where i'm going is not really far from my house so i just put on some casual fits you know and then yeah i'm going to remove this one this um scarf because i just wanted my edges to lay down because sometimes it just you know messed up so then i just had this scarf on my hair for my um edges to lay down so yeah before we get into today's video please do not forget to like comment and then subscribe please subscribe to my youtube channel so
my phone was almost off and i couldn't talk to you guys again this is the stuff that i bought from melcom and then i got this food as well like my dinner you know one eternity later hi guys good morning so today is thursday june 8th yes thursday june 8th and it's 5 a.m right now the lightning is not good so let's just manage it i'm about to take off these braids and then go get my hair done today so that's basically it for today slide on a pimp gang with my pinky brain lot of gang lot of bitches in the icy and oh my eyes hurt so i'll be going to get um i'll be going for an eye exams yeah can you guys see it's so painful Ooh. what if i cut my hair <laughs> Why you claim that you rich? That's a false claim. My hair is not even that long. How I wish. But anyways. Whole lot of styles can't even pronounce the name. You ain't got no style. See you on my Instagram. I'll be rocking it. Okay, let me tell you guys a story. So the time that I went to get my SIM card registered in, I went to join a queue. You know, you all saw that long queue there. I went there. And then I asked one woman, um, is this the queue? Who is the last person? And then she showed me. So I also went to join the queue. That was my mistake. I should have asked what's the queue, like what are they coming to do? Yeah. So I went to join that queue, sat there for almost three hours. And that was not the <laughs> queue I was supposed to join. So um that queue was when you've already registered your sim card and then it's missing do you understand those who have already used their ghana card to register but then they are having um difficulties or their sim card is missing that was the queue i also didn't ask and i sat there for almost three hours and they said they were not having um electricity like they are having problem with the electricity so that's why we were sitting there outside so <laughs> oh that's why they were sitting outside here yeah. so one man came to ask the woman sitting beside me um is this cue for those who are going to register their SIM card and she said no her phone is missing and her SIM card is missing too you know the SIM card is in the phone so that is what she is coming to do and then they said they are using a tablet for that service and the tablet was also on 15 percent so they don't know if everyone can get hers done his or hers done yeah so when that man asked and then they shown him um where to go uh, i was <laughs> i was so confused so i sat there again and I was like no let me ask the woman so i asked the woman what she was coming to do over there and she told me that her sim card is missing so that's why i was like ask ah. so this queue isn't for those people who are coming to register with their ghana card and so she said no i was like wow so where should i go and she showed me the place you guys that place like the queue isn't long do you understand the man who came to ask the woman was even sitting there doing his so i was like hey and i've wasted like say um three hours and they were like i had an abai wembisa like why didn't i ask her first and i said i asked meanwhile i didn't so i told her i asked the other woman and then she told me to come and join the queue that's why i asked her if she was the last person so i stood up <laughs> looking very stupid i stood up and then i went to join that queue so i was the third no the second person because that woman um that man was getting his done so i went to him and then i greeted and i asked what he is doing and he said that he's coming to get his sim card registered with the ghana card i was like okay I was like, oh, what am I also coming to do? I was like, I'm going to do the same thing. But when I came, I didn't ask. So I was joining this queue and I sat there for three hours, like three good hours. Like, oh, so we were not even talking. 
like we were not talking and my sim card was not registered in my name here yeah. so i wanted to know whether i can still use my ghana card to register for that sim card but they said they couldn't because the mobile money is also not registered in my name and mind you that sim card my uncle got it for me but the mobile money name i was there one day and they sent a message that i should enter a pin and then i did so i've been using that mobile money account for like a year 2021 20, two years yeah oh guys look at my hair <laughs> so i've been using that um, mobile money for two years and then that isn't my name so they said they can't do anything about it uh yeah and <laughs> that man when he got his done you know when you're coming to i think when you're about to register the sim card they will tell you to pay is it five cds yes i think five cds for them to register the mobile money for you so when the man was about to leave he asked me that will i get money for that i was like yes and like am i sure i said yes then he went and then came back and then dash me 50 cities for it i was so surprised i was like oh thank you so much mind you he didn't ask of my name he didn't ask for my number he did nothing he just dashed me that 50 cities i was so surprised and that's what i used to pay and i got a new sim card because they said they can't use uh, my ghana card for the sim card i was using so i had to get a new one so i'm just using a new number now that's the story <laughs> so i'm going to see you all when i'm done with these braids or when i'm almost done because i want to get to the salon very early because the last time i went there around i think 12 no i went there around 11 and i came home around 10 p.m i don't want that to happen again because this place is getting more scarier yes where i live is a new site and then there are some boys over here i'm scared <laughs> so i want to be the first person she said she she's going to open her shop around 7 30 so i want to get there around 8 8 30 thereabouts yeah so i'll be the first person and then she'll finish earlier so i'm going to see you when i'm done with these braids hey guys so i'm on my last braid right now and i wanted to leave the house around 8 8 30 but Right now it's 8 30. I know I look a mess, but I'm gonna get cute again in some few minutes, okay? <laughs> so I wanted to leave around 8 8 30, as I said, but right now it's 8 30, and I'm just hoping that I'll not go and find anybody there. I'll just be the first person to do my hair. And my room also looks a mess, so I have to clean up. And yeah, so I'm gonna see you all when I'm ready to leave the house because I've not been showered, I've not brushed my teeth, like I've not done anything. So I'm just hoping I'll get there early because I don't want to come home late like the last time. You get it? So let's just hope for the best. <laughs> no hair bands like i don't have a scrunchy so i just use the rubber band to tie my hair which of course i know when i'm going to take it out it's going to hurt so i need to buy a scrunchy and also i'm going to get a beggar mm, yes the last time i tried one beggar from barbecue city i don't know if you guys know it's a restaurant around ayajiase so i got um a beggar from them but it wasn't that good for me maybe it's because it wasn't hot so this time around i'm just going to try again and see if it is like good as some people are saying and then but their fries is their potato fries gosh you wouldn't miss that their potato fries 
is fire <laughs> and that's what I'm going to try so I'm not even eating I'm going to get porridge on my way when I get to the salon that is when I'm going to take my breakfast there so I'm just hoping I get there very early because it's almost 10 and I know maybe I'll go and meet some people there so I'm just hoping I'll not come home late as the last time so yeah i've still not figured out the hairstyle i want to do i just have four ideas in mind because last night i was scrolling through um pinterest and then i got four so when i get to the salon i just let the stylist um decide for me because i have no idea which one i want to do and pardon me if you can hear those cocks because there's a poultry farm behind our house and they keep disturbing oh my god i could have killed a lot so I'm almost ready. I'm going to take this bath with me and I need to pick my tripod, my portable um, perfume container because I have a perfume in it, my gloves, tissue of course, and then gum. <laughs> so yeah, I think I look cute. I don't know if I should put a necklace on but I think I'm going to go like this so yeah so yeah I'm going to see you all when I get inside the taxi Salon. I need to redraw some money so I can pay for my hair. So yeah, right now I'm just going to um, redraw some money. I see that's unlikely that she gonna suck me like a fucking high seat. Uh, you pay your little pie, Jerry. Hey, scream. And my bitch want the Fenty, not the Maybelline. I'm the black J, be the way these bitches scream. Make the bitch scream. Pretty little thing. Like my nigga A.E. Hi 
Hi guys, so I just got home. It's around 7.40 and it's light out here. My phone is also at 2%. So I'm going to talk to you all tomorrow morning. Yes, I got my food. I got a cargo pants as well. So I'm going to show you all tomorrow morning because I don't want my phone to go off. So yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> hi guys good morning so it's the next day and my eye is still swollen if you guys can see it's so painful though but anyways yesterday i got home around 7 40 and i wasn't really feeling my hair until she tied it up but i think i look cute yeah so i actually bought this from the salon to treat my dandruff because they said it really works so i'm just hoping it will work for me and it smells good too so this is how it looks like we actually use it yesterday so that's why so yeah and i told you i got a cargo pants yesterday so i'm going to open it together i've not opened it to check how it looks like but i'm going to open it together so yeah so this is how the cargo pants came in and this ziplock bag so let's just take it out to see so this is the first one it's actually so cute she gives at me these shorts <laughs> wow and this black one i don't know if you can clearly see it so i'm going to try it on for you all to see how they all look on me okay so this is how the black looks on me i don't know why always my waist is so small for cargo pants but yeah it looks cute though it's so cute like what I really love this one though. I'll be putting a handle somewhere on the screen and then in my description box. So you all go check it out. Like wow, some people sell this for 200 it is 250, but hers is really affordable. So you just go check it out. Finally, this is the shorts she gifted me. That is so cute. I think I need to cut these from there, you see. But it's cute. Please don't slack behind though, like contact her for every jeans, cargo pants, t-shirts, like she sells a lot of things, okay? So do contact her. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you like it. Please do not forget to like, comment, and then subscribe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.